Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I'm bringing you another installment of my Routes and Strategies uh, series. And today's video, we're going to be tackling the third base on Cow Sun Temple. And this was a very highly requested video because I find that a lot of people have a hard time um, on offense for this third base because there's a really large choke point. Uh, pretty much every, everything up to the uh, the bomb sites or the MCOM stations is it's a gigantic choke point. Um, so hopefully I can give you guys some helpful tips on how to approach this third base and hopefully you guys can learn a couple of things. So the first thing that is probably the most important part about this first, or I'm sorry, this last uh, base uh, for this map is the fact that you do not want to chill out in the backfield like I am doing right now and just kind of throwing grenades at the enemy and hoping that you're going to get kills. Really what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push up as aggressively as you can and I do that right here. Uh, because I realize there's just no reason for me to snipe. Uh, it's much more important for you and your allies to just push up, even if a couple of you die. As long as one of you guys are able to stay alive and then you can start spawning up close, uh, it's going to make your job a lot easier. Uh, so that is definitely the biggest and most helpful recommendation I can actually give you guys. Uh, because I find that there's so many games I'm actually in where basically the al my allies and... Uh, the enemy are just throwing grenades back and forth and it does not accomplish anything uh, except for the fact that the the enemy is gonna win basically because they're just going to they don't have tickets you do that's just gonna how it's gonna work out so what I like to do when I actually am able to push up is to go on the right side this is gonna be my first route that I usually like to take and you pretty much fall follow, follow the uh, side of the hill or mountain or whatever that is all the way to the side of the base and then once someone has actually planted the MCOM you can pretty much clear everyone out so it actually is easier for them to plant it and then you can kinda of chill out right here and I have some allies to my right of me so that they can kill anyone that's going to be spawning in that direction so I feel pretty safe right here and if you have an ally kinda of watching your back and if you're watching your back as well uh, this is a very very nice defensive position where you can pretty much take anyone out that's going for the MCOM station and you have some nice cover as well so it's just an overall nice um, nice place to chill out. Uh, actually, once you actually take the A MCOM station, you can move up towards uh, the B. And what I like to do is I like to, once I've taken it, I like to move on the right side again and then make my way over to the opening where they actually start to spawn and funnel in towards um, this temple area. And I find that I get a lot of kills this way because you can kind of just throw grenades um, in the choke point. I think there's only really one way for them to actually get into this point. And so if you just kind of throw grenades in, uh, towards that area you're gonna get a lot of kills and it's gonna make it very difficult for the enemy to try and actually start defending the MCOM station so uh, it's definitely one route I really really enjoy and I think this is probably my favorite route uh, so the second route that I like to take is where I go on the left side of the map or left side on the beach and make my way over to the small opening uh, towards this direction basically behind this gigantic tree over here and there's two ways you can get over one is through a little mound hill thing which my ally is going to do that in a second I believe and then there's the, the opening that the enemy just came through uh, this is kind of a choke point it is a choke point and you're gonna want to make sure that you get over the wall quickly and establish a defensive position as quickly as possible because if you allow the enemy to kinda just nail you from the other side uh, it can get pretty frustrating and then I would just resort going back to the first route that I take But this is definitely a solid route if you can get over the hill quickly and into the temple area And then pretty much what I do is I kind of clear out anyone that's Around the MCOM stations and then you can plant it uh, And then once you've got it planted you can just chill out still in this area And as long as someone is guarding your back and making sure that no one's going through that uh, that tunnel or not tunnel but archway uh, you can you can pretty much defend the AM com, AM comp station without really any trouble and it's you have good line of sight on anyone that's going to go for it and as you can see in a second people just kind of rush towards it and you just get a lot of kills so once you've actually taken out the AM comp station you can make your th way through the archway that I was describing earlier uh, it's behind me right now and to the left and make your way over to the B1 and what I like to do is pretty much clear out anyone that's around it and then, like I mentioned earlier, head towards the back of the uh, temple area and then just throw bombs, <laughs> bombs, grenades, and uh, use your grenade launcher to pretty much just choke up that area where they're coming through. And I find that this makes it nearly impossible for them to actually uh, defuse the bomb site. It's, it's, it's very difficult for them. And so you're going to see that here in a second. 
Um, yeah, it, it's, it is definitely a very solid uh, strategy that I would definitely recommend. Uh, but this about wraps up the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a couple of things. If you have any questions or comments that you would like me to address, uh, definitely make sure to leave a comment and I will get to them as soon as possible. But also, if you'd like to see more videos from me, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and just, you know, check them out. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, have a good one and take it easy. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network. And here you can create subscriptions for individual games and only receive notifications for new videos uploaded for the games that you are subscribed to. Isn't that fantastic? No more spam video email notifications. And stay in touch with us on our full featured forums. Remember, all the relevant links are always in the description of our videos. Click on them. Come join us on our website. We'll see you there.